In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add audio to your Click to Reveal slides. I'm Paul Wilson, and I make videos about e-learning, specifically with the authoring tool Adobe Captivate. If you're enjoying my videos, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and by all means share this video with your e-learning colleagues. With the release of Adobe Captivate 13, we now have the ability to add audio to each one of the clicks, or reveals if you will, in our various click to reveal type interactions. And I'm going to show you how you can do that today, specifically with the click to reveal interaction. Let me show you. All right, so we have a slide here with a click to reveal. I've replaced the the icon and the background solid image with a series of images from a video that I had where two people are discussing. In this case, I'm assuming the four steps to resolve conflicts. And uh, it's really straightforward to do. If you've got your audio prepared as I do, all you need to do is select the first click to reveal, click on add an interaction, and then you'll have the option to select that as a trigger. So we'll click and tap to play media, browse to where that media is located. In my case, I have a four steps folder on my desktop here, and this will be step number one. We'll go ahead and press open and you'll see that gets updated as well. You can press done if you wish, and we can select the second item add an interaction, click tap, play media, browse, and select step number two. We'll select the third click to reveal, we'll add an interaction, click tap, play media, browse, and there's our third one there, open. Select the fourth and final item there, add an interaction, click tap, play media, and browse to where that audio file is located and click open. Perfect. Let's go ahead and press preview and see how this looks and sounds. Okay, so here's our first click to reveal. Be specific and tell the person exactly what it was that offended you. This is an important first step and will help the person understand the problem. We can go ahead and close that reveal. Press the second one. Don't just say the behavior was wrong. Tell them how it made you feel. Use I statements to help your coworker understand how their actions or comments impacted you. It's an essential step to explain what acceptable behavior would be and how you expect them to behave. So I've clicked three of the four. Notice that my next button, I would probably hide my play bar if this were an actual interaction for one of my courses. But the, the next slide is disabled, of course, until I click all four of these. Finally, describing what steps you will take if you do not see a change in their behavior will help them understand the seriousness of the matter. These steps should be based on the reporting process from the harassment policy. Perfect. And now, of course, I can continue with the rest of the project. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.